This is a Hydromat 23. It's an eight head Wanning molder. It's one of six molding machines. This machine is manufactured in 1998. This is a uh, controller for our swab addition. Uh, we'll get to it here in a minute. Uh, uh, double end tendoner over there with the phase converter. This is a Techno Legno profile sander. This is a back side of it. We'll try and show you the other side here in a minute. This is a Wenig seven head molder that also has a universal head with it. This is another Wanig seven head molder. And and then also we have another seven head molder down here. Both Wannigs. This is just a miscellaneous cabinet. By the, beside the setup tables you can see. This is a Newman cold press. It's a 10 foot press. And then this is the hydraulic unit. They have the uh, hydraulic unit mounted up on top of the press. And then back behind this press, you can see we've got the other parts to the Swabadeson double end tendoner. The Swabadeson has uh, about a 16 square foot footprint and we had to disassemble it to remove it from the factory where it was in operation. It's the only piece that we had to disassemble to move. <clears throat> what we've got here is miscellaneous sheet goods of MDF. We have it in different thicknesses, half inch, three quarter inch, one inch, and then some of this stuff has been molded into certain profiles. The miscellaneous dust pipe is really not miscellaneous dust pipe. Each pallet of dust pipe goes with a specific piece of equipment. So for example, this goes with the uh, Wanig uh, machine number three. This is the manifold or the spider for the one of the Wanig molders. And so each piece of equipment has, has a palletized piece with the manifold and the spider and the dust pipe that goes along with it. Practically all the equipment that we have will include a manifold and enough dust pipe to get you up to your main trunk line. Here we have uh, miscellaneous glue, miscellaneous uh, banding, I think it's a half inch uh, plastic banding, miscellaneous labels. We have one, two, three, four pallets of veneer. One of the things that they would do with their MDF, this one's mahogany more mahogany, hickory, ash, but assorted veneer. Over here we have uh, some molded products different here, some quarter round, uh, different profiles that have been run of the uh, MDF. This particular manufacturing uh, facility, Berg uh, Manufacturing in Morristown, Tennessee, they, they also ran Pergo flooring, and so a lot of these little strips are the Pergo strips that you see.
This is a Techno Legno uh, profile sander. This is a controller. We just got it set up here. It was easier to move it all in one piece. But you see we've got a number of heads as far as uh, profile sanding. Here is another This is a little five head molder, a profit mat 22N, five heads. Nice little machine. <coughs> this equipment here is part of the uh, in feed setup for a Paul panel saw. We sold the very large Paul saw, but we still have the the Roach motorized conveyors, which are there, there, and then over here, and then there is also a trim saw that was on the infeed side of the Paul saw. And so all of these pieces right here are part of the conveyor setup that uh, went to a Paul saw. Once again, we, we have already sold the Paul saw. Here, some wrapped 5 inch crown mold, here's some MDF, molded MDF, but it hasn't been wrapped with anything. We've got miscellaneous moldings, crown mold, different mold, uh, profiles. Some of this stuff has been wrapped and some of it has not. Over here we have a bunch of the uh, Chirovac as far as the packaging goes. There's about four pallets of it here. Here, uh, T-mold. You can see we've got a pallet of it. 